I was born in West Virginia. Come from a coal mining family. One of nine kids. But we came out here to San Francisco in 1959. I was seven. I started drinking about 13. Uh, off and on until in my 20s, I was 22, and I got into a car accident, hurt my brother, and then I joined the Marine Corps. And then I started drinking more. Just I've, I've battled with alcohol and drugs all my life. I gotta be honest, I have. Over the years, it, be honest, it went, I just, I went further deep and deeper and, and deeper until I really, I believed I was going to be next here. About a little over 15 months ago, I was going to be the next one to die. It was going to be me. Everybody in my family thought so too. I was homeless. I was homeless. I had lived, I had no place to live. I was basically staying where I could stay, where nobody would bother me, you know, in the cold and the rain. I got sick a lot. The day before I came to the hospitality house, I was down here at the Safeway, right down the street, panhandling. I'm not proud of that, but I was getting money to drink. And I, and I just started raining and I went around to the back dock and I started to cry. And I, I said, God, I can't do this no more. I can, and that's the truth, that's where it happened. And I just, I can't do this. And I started praying, please help me. And so the next day I came to the hospitality house and that's when my journey began. And I've been doing good ever since. And that was uh, about 15 months, a little over 15 months ago. And from that time on, I've been clean and sober. Well, you can't go there drinking or doing drugs. You can't do that. And that's a good rule. And they've got them rules set in place for a reason, because they work. There's such a wonderful place there. They feed you, they give you clothes. They give a place to take a shower, a place to sleep, uh, a safe place, a very safe environment. And they're very conscious about that. Just uh, like I say, my journey began at the hospitality house. That's a wonderful place and most wonderful people that work there, caring, loving people that care about human beings. And they changed my life. It changed my life. It, it, the place that literally changed my life. Just don't give up. There is, there is, there is hope. Trust and believe that there's hope. Just set your sights on doing the next right thing. One day at a time, and I guarantee you this, your life will change. Your life will change, mine did.